Hey, what is up guys? It is Phantom here and welcome back to a brand new video guys So if you're watching this video, then you're probably considering playing wizard 101 again And you know just kind of don't know how to go about buying for the game buying the game or you know paying for the game and everything like that So anyways, I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons of the two main payment systems that you will use to pay for, I don't know, like cosmetic items in Wizard 101 or just the membership or buying like areas of the game in general to play in and everything. So obviously there's a lot to consider when um, you consider membership versus crown, which are the two big payment systems, by the way. So if you are considering playing, you will either have to buy a membership or you have to pay for crowns, so I will explain what both of these things are, and of course, everything that comes with them, the good and the bad, because there is quite a lot to talk about, so anyways, hopefully this video helps you guys, and let's just get right into it. So anyway, I'm gonna explain, you know, pretty much both of the systems and everything, so the first one I'm gonna start off with is the system of crowns. So crowns are a sort of in-game currency that you can use in Wizard 101, obviously you have to pay for them, with real money or you have to re redeem like a gift card or something that you paid for with money or you can get them from doing online trivia at King's Isle's website or something like that. I, I don't know the exact name of the website but it doesn't give you that much just a heads up about that. So the main way you're going to be paying for your crowns is with real money and everything. So the things, the things that you get with crowns, right? So if you are a crowns player, and obviously there are two main types of players in this game. There are crowns players and there are membership players. I mean, there's like obviously a happy medium that people like me who <laughs> purchase both of them. I mean, you know, periodically, but <laughs> anyway. So the whole system of crowns, basically, it's, it's interesting because crowns, when you purchase, let's say you purchase like a big 60k crowns, right? And you spend it on pretty much like, you know, you're questing throughout the worlds and everything on your wizard and you're buying up all the areas, you know, so far that, you know, go in line with your quests and everything. You will, once you've purchased those areas with, uh, you know, the select amount of crowns that it requires, you can come back to that area anytime you want. So once you've purchased that area, you will, oh, you will have that area forever, basically. You can go on it on any single one of your wizards as long as you are on your account. I don't think cra crowns are not like cross account i mean they're yeah i'm not gonna get into that whole family thing with like bonus crowns and stuff like that but if you are purchasing crowns for one account and you purchase an area you will have that area forever you will never have to you know purchase it again basically so obviously th that aspect of crowns i mean i think is really worth it of course like you know towards the end of the video i'm gonna tell you my personal preference and you know what i like to do at least with you know my money on wiz and everything so obviously with crowns you do get to you know access your areas forever Obviously, if you purchase crowns instead of membership, you can also purchase crowns in the crown shop if you have, like, bonus crowns that you want to spend. You can spend them on packs, mounts, uh, gear. I mean, just there's a ton of stuff. I mean, you can just check it out. This isn't really a crown shop guide, but if you are purchasing with solely crowns, then chances are you might have some leftover crowns once you've purchased the entire game because you'll never have to do it again. So, you know what? That is a pretty nice aspect of crowns. Now... Here's the downside of crowns, okay? So if you don't buy the membership and you do stick with, you know, buying the in-game currency and everything to purchase the entire game for yourself, you are not going to get access to member benefits. And, you know, so, okay, these member benefits, they're really worth it, in my opinion. They're really, really worth it. So a member benefit for, you know, example, could be double pet XP. So when you're training a pet over there at the pet pavilion, when you train your pet and either you complete the minigame, you'll get double XP for the minigame, and if you feed a, feed it a snack, you'll get double XP for the snacks. I'm just kind of explaining that for, you know, people who want to train pets maybe in the future. Another member benefit might be unlimited crafting, so there's no crafting timer, or double reagents from battles and, you know, reagents that you just pick up off the ground and everything, or double gardening where you get double rewards for all your plants. Really, there's a lot of member benefits that happen periodically over the course of the year. I know, I, I'm pretty sure they run a couple per month if I'm pretty if I'm if I'm not mistaken there and it's just they're really really good okay they're they're extremely worth it to have I for that reason I would say go membership but obviously you know it is your choice and everything so another thing about crowns honestly that is a bit of a downside right is not only do you not get the you know periodic member benefits that happen like you know, periodically throughout the year and everything. Wow, I'm saying periodically a lot. I I apologize, but another thing that you don't get is you don't get certain other kinds of member benefits. And I feel like a lot of people who have membership kind of forget that they have this because they're playing with membership so regularly that they kind of just forget about these little bonuses that you get. So when you do buy membership, however, so I've been, I pretty much explained the crown system and how you go about using it and, you know, obviously how worth it is and everything like that. So when you do buy your membership, okay, it's important to know that membership is not permanent, okay? It is 
it happens on a well okay it depends on what package of membership that you purchase so you could obviously purchase the 12 month membership so it'll give you access to the entire game all areas are unlocked and everything and you can play in them as you please for an entire year that's obviously 80 bucks or you could purchase the six month one which is 50 dollars. so it's like a semi-annual membership which gives you access to every which gives you access to the whole game for six months and then you can do it on a monthly basis where you pay ten dollars per month and then you could do like some weird you could do one month i guess oh actually i'm looking here and it actually has there's actually a sale for the first month of membership for only five dollars so i don't know <laughs> you can pick up that deal if you want i don't know if that's still gonna be available when this uh you know video comes out and everything but sometimes they will run sales on membership like that and of course they'll also run sales on crowns pretty periodically so god i say that word a lot <laughs> So yeah, I'm looking here, and it seems to me like the 12-month membership, if you are planning to play the game for a really, really long time, and you're planning to, like, you know, grind it out and everything for a year straight, then obviously the 12-month membership is the best bang for your buck. You're paying, you know, for more membership with less money. So honestly, I would probably go with that. As I was explaining before about the membership, you get a lot of little, you know, bonus things in addition to the huge member benefits that you get throughout the month and everything. So you also get... Access, okay, so you get access to all worlds and the quests in them for, you know, however long you purchase your membership for. You get access to Test Realm, you get a larger backpack, a larger friends list, faster energy regen, faster crafting timers, faster pet hatching timers, added limited time benefits, which I already explained and everything. Uh, you get half off of the Scroll of Fortune, exclusive emotes, ranked PvP matches, that's another thing, if you want to do PvP and you're a Crowns player, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to, you know, basically buy, you know, your matches or like a membership to those matches for crowns and everything so i'm yeah sorry i haven't done pvp in a while so i don't exactly know how the payment system works for that so you know bear with me guys but so you get obviously ew ranked derby races no one does those anymore uh you get message boards access which i guess could be useful for some people if you're looking for a specific thing but so you get access to all of those as a member and you know the reason why okay i'll get into the reason why i like membership more so basically i like it more because you get all of those benefits. So I do get the larger backpack, the faster crafting timers and everything, like the faster energy timers and everything like that. That's really, really nice. And then of course you get the member benefits, the really, really ultra special ones like double gardening and double pet XP and everything. I think those are just really, really nice to have. And honestly, there's another thing to consider when you're buying crowns with, or you're buying areas with crowns. When you buy an area with crowns, you have to keep in mind that not all areas are uh, created it equal, so to speak. So when you get into higher level worlds, it's gonna get pretty expensive with your areas, but some crowns players, you know, they, they do stick it through, you know, they buy, you know, a few, like, big packages of crowns throughout the year, and then as they're questing through each of their characters, you know, they, they at least buy the area for the first time, because you only need to buy it one time per account, and, you know, eventually if they do get to the end of the game, they'll have the whole game for, not for free, because you paid for it before, but you'll have the full game unlocked forever, so with membership, obviously, if your membership ends when you're when you buy it so let's say you buy the six month membership and six months goes by you know you're playing for six months then once it ends that's it <laughs> you don't you don't get access to any more areas which i mean obviously you know take with that what you will and everything so it there is a lot of things to consider when buying both of these things so i personally prefer membership because i get access to the entire game i don't have to drop large sums of crowns for areas even though hey you know what if you prefer dropping large sums of crowns for areas to get those areas unlocked forever so you can never have to buy them again or waste any more money. That's up to you. Really, it's, it is it is kind of an opinionated thing. In my opinion, I do like the benefits that I get from membership, like the bigger backpack and the faster energy and blah blah blah. I've went over those multiple times, but I do like the member benefits more, so I go with membership personally. I think it just has a lot more benefits, and I just think it's a lot more worth it. Just in my opinion, obviously, you can, you know, pick and choose, you know, what you please and everything. Some people do prefer the crowns model of just buying area by area, you know? And you know what? That's fine, honestly. Personally, though, I will prefer membership. I feel like there's a lot more people that do actually prefer membership, but there are definitely some crowns players out there. And there is, you know, some benefits to crowns as well. Obviously, you get the areas forever. You get extra crowns. I mean, you can, like, purchase stuff with crowns. If you're solely a membership player, then you'll never have crowns to buy any of these cool items and everything. So, obviously, you got to consider that. You know, personally, for me, I buy membership and crowns because... I, <laughs> I have a gambling addiction and I love this game, but you know what? That's just my model. That's just how I like to do it. But, uh, you know, for actually unlocking the game, 
I prefer membership. So anyways, guys, that's really going to be it for this video. Just a short little video talking about membership versus crowns, the pros, the cons, and, you know, hopefully I figured out whatever model of paying for the game you prefer and everything. So if you enjoyed or maybe this helped you, you can leave a like down below or subscribe to the channel if you want more, you know, Wiz content like this in the future. I hope this video helped some people because I have gotten this question asked, you know, a pretty decent amount. So I hope I could help those people that actually wanted it. So anyways, that's going to be all from me, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I will see you guys in the next one, whatever that may be. So enjoy the rest of your day, guys. I'll see you next time. Take care, guys, and peace out.